Welcome to the Death of the Holland Grill, Part 2. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with another low-carb keto carnivore chat. This is about the Holland Grill and the death of the Holland Grill. Uh, we talked about this last week. We did a little article. We didn't know the Holland Grill um, went out of business uh, last year around this time. And um, the reason it's in the low-carb keto carnivore uh, category is because it is, um, we cook our meat on it. And it's the best way to get our nice low-carb meats um, for ourselves. But uh, it just really stinks that a low-carb, I mean, a, a good American company, a good American company uh, can fold. It's, that's what, I guess these days what happens when you make something good. You have a short-term run. You know, you make good stuff. You know, you saturate, uh, you sell to everybody that ever would want one. And you have a few trickle sales and it's just not enough to keep the, the business going. Um, I guess that's why they make things um, that are disposable. Like uh, any grill you get at a Walmart or Home Depot or any kind of big box store is going to break. Uh, we went through uh, several grills, three, three grills, and they all sucked. And they broke either the same year or the year after. They just stopped working. They were rickety and junky. The Holland grills are, are really the best. I mean, if you can, they'll last like a very long time. We had a, a, the Holland grill, as you see back here, it's, it was called the Freedom. And we got it, you could have gotten the Liberty. The only difference for an extra hundred bucks uh, with the uh, Freedom model was uh, they had a nice front panel that will just block the, uh, the, the propane panel from being seen. But the problem is it had... I mean, the grill worked perfectly. We used it all year round. Didn't matter. Everything came out great. But it had the back three sides, the back and the two sides were exposed. Um, it made it easy to get the, uh, the propane out and also your, uh, your, your grease bucket. But we have dogs that uh, went and wanted to eat the grease bucket. So we thought, you know, I, I tried to build all sorts of implements to make it work. And they... Uh, they got crafty and they, they started breaking through it on a regular basis. And I was going to go to the store and buy stainless steel panels and start drilling into it and making it. At that point, I said, let me see if I can get the, they had a, so the two high end models had full cabinets underneath that dogs couldn't get to. And that's when we found out they were out of business for the last year. I'm like, damn. So I called over a hundred uh, Holland grill uh, dealers that I found coast to coast and I was I looked on eBay I looked on all the other shopping apps we missed some good deals that we could have had um, got a $1,200 model for 300 but we missed that uh, by about a year um, I don't know why they don't just get rid of the things that are sold and, or just don't let let them show up in search results but we called you know, literally over 100 places and everybody had the same the same exact uh, thing. Oh man, we've been out of these for a year and we still get 10, 20 calls a day, people looking for these things. And I was about to give up. I'm like, you know what? I didn't call the place I freaking bought it from uh, five or six years ago. And lo and behold, they had one grill in stock of the model we wanted. It wasn't the stainless steel model, which I probably would have preferred, but it was the, the Epic model. Not the Apex, it was the Epic model, which is a, pretty much the exact same grill, so we thought, with, it, with it just a nicer bottom cabinet and it's quite possible we are the last person to ever buy a new holland grill on planet earth from a dealer because uh, they're all gone i mean if you find them or if you know where they are i i i'm curious to know uh where they might be but um we didn't know this but we were thought we were just getting the same grill as before but there were a few uh benefits that i was very surprised to see it was like a pleasant surprise because i wasn't expecting them. number one they have this dripping pan that, that goes in between the grill surface and the flame. And that basically collects all the droppings and it goes down a pipe into the, the grease bucket. The previous one we had had this little weird channel in the middle and, and it was um, kind of difficult to clean. They put that channel in there so you could fill it with water if you were doing some sort of steaming. You could still fill this new one with water, but it made it really, I usually put foil inside and it made it uh, really hard to clean and it was a real pain in the neck uh, without a doubt. But this new one has like a curved thing. So I can just use one big piece of uh, industrial foil and it fits perfectly and it prevents any, anything from getting in there. It's, it's really nice. And secondly, it's it seen this new one. I don't know if it's just a new grill, but, and maybe the burner is a little bad. I didn't inspect the old versus new yet, but 
Um, it seems to be hotter by about 50 to 75 degrees. It consistently gets up to 450. Most Holland grills were lucky to get even close to 400. Usually 375 was the max. And either way, it's not a problem. I, it's a little bit of a shorter cooking time and a little bit less margin for error on a hotter grill. You can go, there's a lot of forgiveness in a, in a cooler grill. And since the Holland grill only has one on and off, you can't, you can't really, you can open the grill lid if you want to cool it down a little bit. That, I, I like the new, uh, the, the new heat setting for now. And also they have a little wood, uh, wood tray for smoking. It's not a big tray, so you're not going to get massive uh, smoke injection, but it's better than putting the, the little tray and you have to lift the, the, the grill up to stick it in there. This one is nice. Uh, so if I ever decide to smoke a pork butt or something, I'll, I'll use it for sure. Um, and there's several other things that we like about it, uh, but I, I won't get into them. They're very minor. But just I want to let you know real quick, there's a competitive company out there that was out with Holland in the very, uh, towards the end there, it was called Phoenix Grills. And they're pretty much, for the all intents and purposes, exactly the same as Holland Grill, with the exception that uh, they don't have any bases. They're all these narrow bases and the grease bucket is always exposed. So if you have dogs that... Uh, that like to do things or you're not good enough at remembering to bring the grease tray they'll lick the damn thing and it's really really annoying annoying but uh, those phoenix grills if you do want to get in on the no flare up cooking uh, phenomenon i you i would recommend you pick up one of those there's another more expensive brand it's in the almost uh, two thousand dollar range that uh if you have money i forget it starts with a w um i'll put it in the comments if i if i remember um you can get that too but the no flare up cooking is the way to go and we're just sad that the Holland Grill is gone and apparently they have their web page up that says uh, they're coming back but uh, I don't know if that's really true or not so don't uh, hold your breath enjoy your day if you like the video please hit subscribe and the bell and we'll see you next video